Hello folks, this is Wayward Echo, and today we're gonna to be talking about advanced base defenses, leveraging all the skills you can use in electricity to protect yourself from the horde. To do this, we're going to tear apart the top layer of the gaping maw base that I built in a past video. We're gonna show you just how to wire up all the circuits in this to make an effective system for protecting you from those nasty zeds. To give you a good idea on how this fares up against the 7,000 day horde, here's a quick showcase. Our friends have come to the party. Oh, should close the door first. Make sure we turn on the lights for everybody. and give them a little special extra welcome. Get our SMG turrets and those dart traps going. Here's our first demo of the night. So you can see the combination of SMG turrets, electrical fences, and dart traps is quite effective at demolishing the horde. So now that we've removed the top and all of the wiring, we're gonna go ahead and show you how to rewire everything in a simple fashion. We're just gonna show you the first breakpoint here, which will give you three separate circuits and all their complexity. So if we pop in here, we're gonna see we've got SMG turret, dart trap on the right, and then on the left, we've got the electrical fence. So let's start with the SMG turret wiring. If you've watched any of my other videos on electricity, and I'll link the uh, 101 and 102 videos here, um, you're gonna wanna start with the source. So in this case, we've got an SMG turret generator bank here. And you're gonna run that to your control agent. In this case, it's gonna be a switch. And then from the switch, you're gonna take it to whatever the end device is. And in the middle of that, you can have any number of relays up until the point where you can support the number of, each one takes one watt, so you're gonna lose some space in it. All right, and then the next thing we're gonna do, we've got a SMG turret on the other side. One of the nice tricks, you can take these relays, pop them in the ceiling like this where you don't really see them and hide them. So I'm gonna come across here and bring that. Let's see, which one can I break it to? Can I bring it to that one? And that'll hide it nicely in the wall there. And then this guy can connect to the SMG turret right there. And that is our first circuit fully wired up. The only thing we need to do from here is come over to the generator, turn it on. And then once we do that, you can see, if I check this SMG turret, it's got the yellow indication for 15 watts coming through, which means we also have it turned on over here, which is correct. So we can turn it off and again, come back here and this should go gray on your 15 watts. All right, lastly, as a quick check, let's just toss out a doggy here. So there's a dog. Come back here. We'll switch on our SMG turret. Come here and bang on something. See if our dog can get attention. Oh, there's our dog. And then our puppy is no more. So that is the SMG turret wiring. And I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. So we're not listening to the generator bank as we go and then move on to the next thing. So we're going to look next at let's do the electric fence next. So same scenario as before, we've got a generator back here. So we're going to go from power source to control agent from control agent. We're going to use a relay again on the inside here. So there's our, actually in this one, we're just gonna go straight down. So here's our electric fence. And then from that electric fence, we're just gonna carry it straight across to the other electric fence. And obviously if you weren't playing with God mode on, you would actually have to run around and reconnect those. So there's our electric fence in place, and we'll just give this a quick test as well. We'll go ahead and turn on the generator, drop down here, flip on our light, which we can see it does have power in it. 
and we can confirm that the line is working by shocking ourselves. All right, so that's two of our three circuits. Let's hit the most complicated one last, but we're gonna go ahead and also turn this generator bank off so we don't have to listen to it while we're setting things up. So the dart trap, following the exact same pattern we talked about before, we've got a generator sitting here for this one. So we're gonna go from the generator to the dart trap. From the dart trap uh, switch here, we're gonna head up to this relay. This relay is gonna come down and tap on the dart trap on the right side over here. Then we're gonna connect it to a relay on the opposite side. And from this relay, we're gonna go straight over to this one. And then additionally, we're gonna tap from there down to the floor. We've got another relay down here. And that relay is gonna go to the three that are underneath here. I just realized I needed myself a quick way to take out those floorboards there. So we'll just... Dog, you're in the way. All right. So now we've got this relay here. And we're gonna wire this up to each of these three dark traps across the bottom. So one to there. One to the middle one and one to the far one and that is all the dart traps wired up so likewise now we can come across here and turn on our generator bank drop down here and flick this on and we'll see those firing you'll see all three across the bottom and the two from each of the sides. So one last cut just to get a simplified view of things and how they lay out here. I set this up real quick, took away all the walls and gave kind of the basic representation of what you're looking at so that you can see it in a really simplified format and you can see the flow of electricity. So pause here if you need to, otherwise I'll walk you right through. This is this is the most complicated circuit that I have in there. And this is laid out similarly to the base where we've got the generator here. It's flowing into the switch. The switch hits a relay and you can have multiple posts off the relay. The first one hits the dart trap on this side. The other one pivots across to the other side of the gaping maw. One line goes from this relay down to the one that's along the wall. And another one goes from here down to a relay that's down on the floor so that we can avoid the wiring being visible. And then that last one feeds all three of the dart traps on the floor. And that's the basic setup for this. You just come on and switch it on. And there's our basic dart trap. So that is what we've got for today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I hope it's helped. Um, if you haven't seen the video of the original Gaping Maw, you should go check that out because it'll show this whole thing in its full glory in action and then how to build it. Um, also, I'd just like to pause and say thank you so much for all the subscribers. Um, specifically, I'm gonna call out Alexis Huan who suggested that I do this video. If you're watching any of my stuff and you have questions, please engage in the comments. And if you want me to do kind of a follow on video, I'm happy to do that to dig into some of those areas. And lastly, it's just a pitch because I've been spending a ton of time on it. I started a new series called the Broken Shard series, which is a unique role playing gameplay through Seven Days to Die, unlike anything that you've ever seen before. So I hope you guys check it out. And otherwise, I'll see you on the next one. Echo out.